But this great spirit, you got to go and vote. We got to knock the one off, and then we worry about November, and we're going to win. We're way up on this guy. It's uh, just incredible that he can, frankly, be even running anything. A guy can't, he can't put two sentences together. He's running. Can't find his way off the stage. See all the stairs around here? How the hell do you not? Where is the stair? He says, where is the stair? To show you how evil the press is, I did this routine where I stumbled and mumbled purposely, imitating him, and they put it on. They said, he's cognitively impaired. <laughs> then, then I walked back. I'm, I'm looking, and I walk, I go, huh, what? Where? Where are And he walks off the stage, and he's like, And they said it was me. I couldn't find. So I can't use sarcasm because they're very dishonest people. You know, sarcasm is a disaster. Every time I use sarcasm like that, they say, I couldn't find my way off the stage. I got stairs all over. And if you want, it's only about three and a half feet. I could jump off the front. <laughs> but this guy can't find his way. So sarcasm is a very dangerous thing with, it, with a dishonest press. So, uh, you know, I go through a long story because they actually had me, like, walking into oh, just, oh, it's so sad. I said, do people believe that? And I just took a physical. You'll be happy to hear. Our great football player is going to be happy to hear this. I took a physical, and I passed with flying colors, and I took a cognitive exam. I said, doctor, Give me anything you want. I want to take it. I think you actually, if you're running for president, I think you should be forced to take it. They say it's not constitutional. So instead of, uh, you know, look, we, want, we love our Constitution, but look what we have in office. This guy cannot pass a cognitive exam. But I took a cognitive exam, and I aced it. He said, I aced it. Thank you very much, doctor. But, and you know who gave me the first time I ever even heard of it? Dr. Ronnie. Do you know Doc Ronnie? He's one of the great congressmen now. Ronnie Jackson, he was the doctor. He's an admiral. He was the doctor in the White House. He was my doctor. He was Obama's doctor, too, by the way. I said, who's healthier? He said, sir, there's no contest. I won't tell you the answer, but you know the answer. Okay, it was me. He said, you're the healthiest guy. He said, if he didn't eat junk food, he'd live to 200 years old. That's my kind of a doctor. But he gave me at Walter Reed, they gave me a cognitive exam, and uh, I aced it. I actually aced it, got everything right. And I took another one, got everything right. I would know when it's going bad. I would tell you, <laughs> don't, if it's going bad, I'll be the first to know. <laughs> you know who would be the first to know? Front Row Joes would be the first to know. <laughs> they will tell me, they'll say, sir, we love you. We've been here. We've gone to 120 rallies. But, sir, uh, it's time for you to <laughs> Pack it in. And I'd want them. You know what? I'd want them to say that. I'd want them. But I feel that right now I'm sharper than I was 20 years ago. And I don't know why. I don't know why. You know, it's a funny thing. And it's a very minor thing. But I'm a much better golfer than I was 10 or 15 years ago. It means something. You know, it means something in a certain way. It means something. No, but I did. I took a physical, passed it. I thought I had an obligation, and I took a cognitive and, and aced it. I, I said, which did I do better on, my physical or my cognitive? He said, actually, sir, you're cognitive. And I wasn't sure I was happy about that. He said, your cognitive is incredible.